Greetings and welcome to part four of the baritone slash euphonium series, even tuba. We're again, we're using essential elements. We're looking at the orange belt right now, using pages uh, 10 through 13 in the book, or 41 through 58 for the exercises. So let's get right into it. Looking at the uh, top of page 10, there's an orange box, <clears throat> and in that orange box it talks about eighth notes. So eighth notes look like two quarter notes, but they're barred together. So there are two eighth notes on one beat. Each eighth note is one half of a beat. So you're going to hear two eighth notes in the same amount of time it takes to play one quarter note. Okay, so if your eighth note, uh, your quarter notes are this, eighth notes would be, eighth notes are twice as fast. Okay, so let's look at number 41, the eighth note jam. So we've got a bunch of E flats to start us off on here, and they're eighth notes. So have a listen to see how it's going to sound with the eighth notes. Now, 42 is called Skip to My Loo. There's got some more practice using those eighth notes. The main thing you want to notate about the eighth notes is that they're nice and steady on the beat. So if you're do, do, do is your beat. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day. If you're tapping your foot to the beat, when your foot goes down, that's right on the beat. That's your quarter note. When your foot lifts up, that's your day or your second eighth note. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day, do, do, do. Do, do, day, do, day. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Uh, one thing to remember is that a lot of kids, when they're starting out, they're thinking more about the notes and not so much about the rhythm. Okay, the length of notes is just as important as playing the right pitch. Okay, so skip to my loo. If no one's, if you're not paying attention to uh, the note values, how long you're playing, it might sound like this. <laughs> It doesn't sound like skip to my loop. Let's take a look at 43, long, long ago. On this one, we have, we're kind of getting, getting us into dynamics. So dynamics is your volume control. Um, <clears throat> that's kind of the length of notes, the length of your rests. Now we have volume control. So uh, in 43, long, long ago, right underneath that first note B flat, you see a P. That stands for piano uh, in Italian, which stands for soft. So it means you want to play soft. Don't beat yourself up right away uh, if you're not able to get those dynamics right away because it's it's rather hard when you're again you're trying to figure out the instrument, trying to figure out the notes and the new rhythms to also try to figure out um, getting the right volume. But as you continue progressing on your instrument, start working on that volume control too. Looking at 44, Oh Susanna, this one has an F at the very beginning. That stands for forte. In Italian, that means loud or strong, like a fort. Okay? So Oh Susanna also has two eighth note pickups. <laughs> page 11, at the very top, it talks about a 2-4 time signature. Now, at the beginning we had talked about a 4-4 time signature. The top number is the most important part. 4-4 four, four means there's four beats in every measure. Now, that could be quarter notes, it could be made up of eighth notes, half notes, rests, whatever. But there's four beats of music in every single, uh, every single measure. If you're looking at, say, uh, number 41 that we had played, notice that there are four eighth notes and then two quarter notes. There's six notes in there, but since each eighth note is half a beat, you have one half, two half, three half, four half, that's two whole beats, plus one for each quarter note, there's four beats of music in every measure. Now we have two four, which means there's going to be two beats in every single measure for uh, whenever you see a two four time signature on a song. 
47 has a 2-4 time signature, so that means in every box there's going to be two beats. You're still beating like you did before, it's going to be very much the same, but it's good to be aware of how many beats are going to be in every measure. Here's 47. Underneath that, it talks about tempo markings in the orange box. It says tempo is the speed of music. Tempo markings are usually written above the staff in Italian. Again, almost everything is uh, in Italian in music because when music was first really being written down uh, a lot, it was in Venice, Italy. Venice, Italy was like the Hollywood of, for music at the time. Uh, that's why we go Italian and it's kind of stuck over the years. So, 48 is High School Cadets. This is your first Orange Belt song. Um, so it's allegro, which means fast. Okay, notice there are pickups in there. Notice that it's forte, so it's going to be pretty loud as well. So here's High School Cadets March. <laughs> Eighth notes need to be shorter than your quarter notes. You cannot play it like this. Because that's everything the same. It's got to be short, short, long, short, short, long, eighth, eighth, quarter. Okay? So just make sure that you, you're really paying attention to the length. All right, 49, Hey Ho, Nobody's Home is another good one. This one's moderato, which is a moderate um, tempo. Also, look underneath it. It has an MF which stands for mezzo forte. M is medium. So when you see an M on an, with an F, that means medium loud. If it's the MP, it's medium soft or mezzo piano. play the dynamics. So again, dynamics is your volume control, your louds and your softs. In the orange box above number 50, it has new dynamics. It has a hair, it looks like a hairpin kind of thing or goes um, little to big. That's called a crescendo, which means you increase the volume, you get louder. You also have a decrescendo, which is decrease to decrease the volume. Basically follow, is it is it getting little to big? That means you're going soft to loud. It's going big to little, it means you're going loud to soft. Here's 51 playing the dynamics. It starts on piano to soft, crescendos up to a forte, then a decrescendos gets quieter to a piano. <laughs> Turn the page with me, please. We're on page 12 in our Essential Elements book now. Your last two Orange Belt songs is going to be Frere Jaca and Hard Rock Blues. So we're going to look at Frere Jaca first. This is number 54 in your book. 2-4 time, moderato for a moderate tempo. Starts off mezzo forte, medium loud. Towards the end, you get forte louder, and it is repeated. <clears throat> favorite songs in the book is number 58, Hard Rock Blues. Again, repeated, the whole song is forte, and it's just a nice, fun song, and it's allegro, fast. Rush, half, rush. 
half rust. Rust, rust. Hope that was helpful with your orange belt. The next set of video, uh, the next video is going to be focused on the green belt. So keep on practicing. Keep doing a great job. We'll see you next time.